What you're looking at is a makeshift camp outside of the Hessian Barracks in Frederick, Maryland. And the reason why we're here is because this is part of the Star Spangled Celebration. And joining me to talk a little bit about Frederick and its importance in the celebration is uh, John Kessler. He's with Visit Frederick. John, let's first of all talk about one of probably the most famous visitor here, or actually resident from mm -hmm. here, uh, none other than Francis Scott Key. Why was Key here? Well, 200 years ago when he wrote the song that would become our national anthem, um, folks in Frederick certainly took pride in their connection. He was born in Frederick County. Uh, his family homestead would later become part of Carroll County, but uh, Key grew up here. He began his married life and law practice in Frederick, and he would return here many times even after he and his family had moved to Georgetown when he took over his uncle's practice. Uh, down there, and this is in fact his final resting place. He is buried inside Mount Olivet Cemetery, just about a block from where we are today. I consider myself a son of, of Frederick, and I enjoyed my childhood here, playing in the fields at Terra Rubra with my sister Anne. As we know, in 1812 he was a lawyer and he was acting as a mediator, and he was on a British ship, and then of course he sees the, the grand flag uh, as uh, is displayed here, that was displayed here earlier, not the same flag, of course, but a different, a similar type of flag. One of the things that a lot of people may wonder, what was his fascination with poetry? He had been just a, an amateur poet through much of his life, um, writing both poems as well as lyrics to tunes. Uh, you know, the historians today are pretty well convinced that he had that tune in his head when he wrote the lyrics. That As I understand, become, it's the Irish drinking song, isn't it, yeah, right? British drinking song, uh, to Anacreon in Heaven, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he had, in fact, actually written another set of alternate lyrics to that song once before. When free men shall stand between their love homes, the war's desolation, blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven-rescued land praise the power that have made and preserved us a nation. This Hessian barracks was not only essential during the War of 1812, but it also was a big factor during the many battles here in, a, in and around Frederick. Talk a little bit about that. These were very historic grounds throughout the in, entirety of American history, really. If you were standing right here 150 years ago, you would see temporary hospitals set up. The barracks building itself was used as a permanent general hospital by the Union Army. Uh, but after the Battle of Monocacy in July 150 years ago, many of the wounded soldiers were still here being treated. 200 years ago, you would see all kinds of farmers and merchants from throughout Western Maryland who mustered here as militiamen before marching to Baltimore to fight the world's greatest navy, attacking their home state. Mm -hmm. Always a lot of Maryland history in and around the state, but we hope you come out and visit Frederick and the many other sites in and around Maryland. Now let's go back to you in the studio. Oh,